In other news now, Toronto's crumbling highways and byways are under the microscope again tonight. This time because of a very close call in Montreal. A giant slab of concrete fell from an overpass over the weekend. Amazingly, no cars were hit by the debris. But the scenario is truly frightening. This is a live shot of the gardener from the Global News Chopper. The threat of falling concrete makes most drivers nervous. And if it can happen in Montreal, can it happen here? Our Jackson Prosco went out today looking for answers. They mean it when they say it's a miracle no one was killed. A 25-ton slab of Montreal's Ville-Marie Tunnel collapsed Sunday, shattering nerves in a city filled with crumbling infrastructure. You look at it and you get to wonder how is that nobody really got injured. Today, Quebec's transport minister offered reassurance, blaming the collapse on a construction crew already working inside the tunnel. I can say to you that there is no compromise for the safety and this is very particular accident. Yet Montreal's roads and bridges are in an alarming state of disrepair. In 2006, an overpass in the suburb of Laval collapsed, killing five. Recent reports suggest the main bridge to the island of Montreal is on the verge of crumbling. There's a lot of Quebecers who are worried. I'm wondering, is, is there an other structure that need uh, urgent uh, intervention? Not just Quebecers, much of Toronto's infrastructure was built around the same time as Montreal's. In May, chunks of concrete crashed from the Gardner Expressway onto the road below. The city insists it was just cosmetic and the structure is still safe. We're very confident in the integrity of our structures. Uh, we, we have a, a very detailed program that makes sure that our structures are meeting all of our requirements are safe. Toronto has a much better record when it comes to the safety of our infrastructure, but the city still faces a massive backlog of repairs to roads totaling hundreds of millions of dollars. That's prompted warnings that regular inspections of bridges and overpasses need to be stepped up here and across Ontario. Well, if we're not doing the inspections as we should, then we really don't have a good handle on how to prioritize when we make those repairs. Ontario is the only province to legislate bridges be inspected every two years. Critics point out many municipalities aren't living up to that standard. If there's a lesson emerging from other cities, it's that the safety of bridges and roads can't be left to chance. Jackson Prosco, Global News.